What's up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys we are week five into eternal evolution and today i sort of want to do like a recap see where we are but also i feel like if i was to play this again and make another account i could speed through this way way faster so i want to sort of just talk about what i would do to progress faster give you guys some tricks and tips so i think the first thing we'll do is we'll start with heroes and the first thing we would be doing is evolving. Evolve your heroes as quickly as you can. As soon as you get to uh, Mythic plus one, actually we can have a look at that here. So let's sort of scroll down. So when we get to that Mythic plus one, and so it means you need three copies of the same hero to get there. But as soon as you do that, you get your exclusive and basically you get this sick weapon it gives you like stat but like here we're getting all these kinds of bonuses you also get um you get like well you're getting the stat bonuses but you also upgrade your skills as well um so that's huge and the other thing about evolutions we're also getting talents which are again just going to bump everything up and just in here as well you just get general stat bonuses as well so evolve your heroes as quickly as you can obviously there's an element of rng in there um, you need, obviously you need the same copies of heroes to do that but that will massively bump up your account and then it comes down to investing into the right heroes as well and you don't want to spread yourself too thin i would focus on five heroes and just have that as like a generalist team to try and carry you in as much content as possible and then bring in like a specialist to help you progress in other areas of the game so my core team at the moment is serena serena god tier healer an absolute beast um do not food her i fed her very early on um i thought she looked a bit basic i thought ah oh, she's basic feed her feed her and uh no i was wrong she is so good so yeah definitely keep serena an amazing healer uh, just show you like the build make sure you put her in abundant great healing set um ravenar everyone gets ravenar everyone gets ampu these two are great carries even at like elite one they are gonna do insane work for you um yeah she's doing aoe damage great force in sorrow's marsh as well as other content but yeah hits like a truck and will just clear waves will help you progress in elite and campaign as well because she's just blowing people up uh ampu um just insane i think you get him around re uh, week three week two um but yeah it does aoe damage um brings in a stun and because he's like a summoner as well he's doing insane damage such a such a good hero um yeah just great for everything bot mark as well i don't know why i skipped bot mark uh bot mark is so good um great for disa caves single target multi-hitter um yeah just slaps like no other um, mine's in the same build like he's in really really good gear but yeah absolute beast and then okay artas i would i don't know i just love the way he looks i love this animation he looks like he should be sick and yeah he's pretty weak he's weak source um yeah really disappointing um i just feel like he does not live up to the way he looks like he's pretty well built on the account um yeah talent's almost fully done he's got his exclusive and he's like it so vanguard he's like an off tank he's a damage dealer he's close up and personal and yeah he's not doing it for me just not doing it randall what a disappointment i thought he was going to be a beast like i love this little animation he has in fact it deserves a second rewatch like look at him just flying all over the place he looks so good but again just another trash meister yeah i've invested so heavily into him he's in pretty decent gear and he is just not putting out the numbers like bot mark a ranged hero is doing more damage than an assassin makes no sense even taylor swift is doing more damage than randall so taylor swift oh 
sorry guys. So just going back to the core team, I missed out. You need a tank. So um, Orthan, God tier. I'm not sure how it's going to work if you're a new player, but I got him around, I think it's week four. New to the game, Elite One. He was doing so much work for me, better than my Leo, better than Vengus. Just insane what this guy can do. He's a hard carry. And yeah, even at low level, he's going to do work for you. So absolute god tier. Invest in this guy. Um, you want HP. You want damage reduction. Uh, you may even want a bit of accuracy on him as well because he does have this like AoE cleave and he just sort of brings everyone in and then you can just melt them with AoE damage. But yeah, absolute god tier. Um, but yeah, and I've actually dropped to Leo. So like Leo, like still an amazing hero, but I've dropped him for all thanks. He's just so much better. Um, but yeah, you do want a tank for the team. You could use Vengus. Like Vengus is also a solid choice. Um, Hercules as well and Oak are also good options. But Vengus, I feel like, feel like is doing more for me than Oak was. And I managed to get more copies of him as well. So I think it's more about whoever you get copies of, invest in that tank. Yeah, Taylor Swift. Um, I slept on this guy. I looked at him and I was like, oh my god, he's got this, he's got this floppy mustache. He's got a bin lid on his head. He's a big, beefy, muscly gym dude, and he's a cowardly lion sitting in the back as an archer, just you know, chipping away. I was like, nah, it's not for me. But saying that, he is so good. As soon as you get him, you want to invest in him. He will do so much damage for you. Again, built very, very well on the account. Focus on crit rate and crit damage for him over attack. But yeah, hits again. He just hits like a truck. Um, absolute beast. Actually, you need to... Uh, let's quickly just... Ah, uh, out of talent points. But yeah, definitely need to put some more work into him. But yeah, beast. Absolute beast. <laughs> Carmore. I regret. I've invested so much into this guy. And he is pretty weak. Um, yeah, he's in a, a very, very, well, no, he's in an okay build, but yeah, doesn't do that much to be honest. Pretty weak. Muka, very, very good, but I'm just going to skip over. Another trash hero to watch out for. Falvia, cannot stand her. Um, there's like, obviously you have the recruitment trial, so you have to use her, you have to invest in her. And she's just terrible. Um, even in Sincero's Marsh, where she should be strong, she does not put out the numbers she should be doing. She does not hit hard. Again, she's in a pretty decent build, and she's weak. She is so weak. Um, okay, exclusive, not that strong. Decent amount of talents into her. Maybe if I evolve her more. But um, yeah, I've not been impressed by her. Compared to other heroes that I've been using, she's never been able to keep up with them. She just doesn't seem to do much. Um, yeah, I would probably not invest in heavily into her again. Um, but yeah, so basically, just to recap, focus on five core heroes, a tank, and basically the heroes that I told you to, and Serena, Serena, that god tier healer, that's what you want to be focusing on. So the next thing is command post. So yeah, definitely, I feel like commanders help you so much more than the prototypes. Prototypes, it there's a, a big element of RNG to which what ones you get. Um, but yeah, I definitely focus command post over divine prototypes. So if we just come back and look in the Lost Valley and look at the dungeons. So Sincero's Marsh, well actually, no, Disa Caves is the one that I'd focus the most first on off. Um, getting gear will help you progress a lot quicker. So we're going to focus on Disa Caves. I didn't know early on that you can buy stamina buy a stamina every single day i think when you get to about level five that's when i'd start using it because then you can progress hell of a lot faster um and just get all that gear um and then hopefully you should be able to get to like level nine level 10 a lot quicker and level 10 is when you want to even go even harder to get this um legendary gear and mythical gear um yeah and so dck is we're on level five right now show the team that we're running. So again, it's Orthan, Anpu, Taylor Swift, um, Botmark, and Serena. So yeah, carrying me very, very hard. Full auto, by the way, as well. Uh, Sansaro's Marsh. Again, we've cleared level 15. And sorry, we're not using um, 
Balvar. I was just testing her just to see what her damage was like. And Botmark is doing way more damage. He actually speeds up the run, even though he's not doing AoE damage. So he was bet he's a better option than Falvar. It makes no sense. So Ravenar, so strong that she can pretty much hard carry this by herself. Uh, but Anpu's great because he's got this big AoE damage that he's doing. So he kills the Spiderlings. Also throws out a stun. And he gets around, well, he cycles so quickly that he just keeps popping off with that ult. So definitely use Ampu. But again, we just got that core team of Serena, Ravenar, and uh, Orthan. And then last but not least, the Terradome. So the Terradome, obviously you do want prototypes. The better prototypes you have, the better you're going to be get carried. But um, it's the one that I focus the least on. I'm um, only on level uh, 14 at the moment. And again, that core team of Ampu, Orphan, and Serena. Uh, Taylor Swift, we can bring him into the circle. So you turn it off on full auto. He can jump around the map, bring him in here, and he will nuke down the boss. Uh, Muka and uh, Ampu are both great. Because they summon minions, those minions will be inside the circle. They do damage to the boss, but also they can tank. So if Orthan goes down or gets pushed back, they will tank and take some of the damage. So that is a great strategy to use against the Terradome. Or Argo. I was trying to remember his name. So yeah, so you want to... Yeah, so basically hero, focusing on that. And then you'll be able to progress faster in the dungeons. And yeah, focus DCKs first. Then sort of when you start to build up a decent amount of gear, switch your focus onto Sinsara's Marsh. And then finally, you want to do Terradome. But Terradome, I've, I've not put any, well, I think maybe two days I did, you know, maybe 14 stamina into it. But otherwise, I don't focus on it too heavily. And then when you get to, I think it's 35, 40, you get, uh, you, it's Keto Sion, Keto Sion Cyan. Oh, it's a bit of a mouthful. Keto Sion Triangle. And then once you unleash this, you are getting new gear. Um, the gear is way, way better. And we've crashed, guys. All right, I'll be back in a second. Let me just reopen the app. Get all this new gear now and different stats, uh, sorry, sets. And they're giving us huge boosts to our account. Uh, abundant, great healing set. Definitely want to make sure you can get some of that. Um, and it is difficult. You have to choose what gear set you want to go. So I'd say focus on one hero at a time and you know whatever set you feels best for them focus on that and obviously you know you can only these open up only on certain days and then they all open up on sunday so yeah, you just want to focus on one hero time build them out move on to the next and start um powering uh, powering them up crimson abyss um you need summoners for this we are rolling with anpu and muka 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 Maka, Muka. Uh, yeah, and it's pretty straightforward. Just need those to take out this, and we'll be getting loads of rubies from that. And you can also um, buy consumables here as well. So basically, just stamina specifically for Yuva Lepi. And then the Soul Mine, you know, I don't want to say there's not too much about this. It's pretty basic. I guess early on, that what you just want to make sure is that you've got plenty of. Um, you want to spread your heroes for this just so you can do the factions because you are getting really good um, rewards from here. So that would help your account speed things up a little bit. Um, Ancient Altar, don't want to say too much about this. Um, it is pretty straightforward. Just show you the teams that we've got. So the first team, you need multi-target damage heroes. We are using Falva here. Again, she is still awful. Um, number two, this is the team that we've got. And again, you just need to summon heroes. And it's great. You, that's what you want. You want you want heroes that can fill as many roles as possible and be as usable as many in as much content as possible. And then here we've got the single target heroes for the final boss. And again, you do um so ancient altar as well. What I like to do is as soon as it opens up, don't hit it wait till day five so when this goes down to like one day's left that's when you want to focus because for like on now i'm like you know i'm i'd say i'm like say i'm a five out of ten 
well, I'm going to be way stronger in five days time. So I'm going to be out like a seven out of 10 or an eight out of 10. And I'll just be able to be able to do more, get more rewards and do more damage. So I always save that for the last sort of day. And then we can skip all of this wastelands. You know, it is what it is. It's pretty basic um, arena. So this is probably like the last area to look at. We're ranked 18 at the moment, so we're doing pretty well. Um, and if we look at the battle report, David Madrid, Madrid, this guy is my rival. I hate this guy. I cannot beat him. So he's like seven point, I think he's 730k and I'm like 1.4 mil. So I'm double his team's power and I cannot beat this guy. So let's look at his team comp. So he's got four, no, three tanks, an AOE damage dealer, and then uh, Kansas, who's a healer. God tier healer, by the way. And yeah, he's absolutely destroying me right now. Um, he is just so tanky. It's a really interesting team comp. Obviously, I'm still new to the game. I need to learn more about Arena. But yeah, what a beast. Like, I hate you, David. He's just, oh, it makes me so mad. But um, yeah, hats off to him. Obviously, a great player, knows what he's doing. But it just shows you that power, like player power or team power, isn't everything. It comes down to well-built heroes and and team comp and synergy. That will carry you way further than, um, you know, just having like a general team. So this is something that I want to work on, something that I need to learn about. So yeah, definitely will be dropping some videos on Arena once I learn a little bit more and have it like, so I can build some interesting team comps to share with you guys. Uh, Galactica Arena doing pretty well here. I cannot break into Masters, which is driving me crazy. Definitely want to try and do that in the next four days so I can get some extra epic runes for those, you know, for um, exclusives for our weapons. Not too bothered about the shards, you know. It's only 10. It's not a huge amount. It's just getting too extra. And I just want to ask you guys as well, what do you guys feel about Rez? Like, I've bought I've bought Rez, I'm buying copies of him, but I don't know, I'm not that impressed by him. I just don't know if he's really worth investing in. Hell Arena is pretty simple. Um, again, how I like to do it is start on the weakest first and save the hardest ones till last. Hopefully by then you'll be stronger and you should be able to easily win those fights. And I think people are lazy. People will not update their defense as they go out through the week. So if they put out a team that's 1.1 mil, um, I might be 1.1 mil, but then by the end of the week, I might be two mil. I'm way stronger and I'll just, I'll just wipe the floor with this guy. And then Summit Arena. So I absolutely love this. It's a bit of a shame that we can't see I think now that it's happened, you cannot see what happened, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, the top three guys are all in my uh, guild. Um, absolute beast here. I know uh, Chris and Band, uh, Bad Trans Fats and Monkey D-Boy, I think they're pretty sure, and Akira, they're, they're all in my guild. Oh, actually, you can see here. Okay, everyone here is in my guild. So the alcoholics are running the show. Um, big mistake I made in here is that I accidentally just clicked full auto, didn't change my team comp, and I lost one fight out of seven, and that stopped me from being able to progress into the next one. So make sure you watch out for that button. Do not sweep it. Focus on what you're doing. Um, time, the endless battles as well are really important. So it's a bit of a shame. I don't think we can actually look at them right now. Um, but yeah, so endless battles... I guess it's difficult without it being there. I don't really want to talk about it because I can't visually see what's going on there. And I guess the last tip I want to give you guys is probably the shop. That's the only thing that I can see. So shop here, you want to make sure you spend your diamonds here, hit that refresh and it changes. I literally, I'm always buying the rubies, um, but I'd buy the like those epic runes for our exclusives. I always get the runes. Um, I've stopped buying the these uh, metalize. 
just call, uh, basically the things that you need to upgrade your gear. I've stopped buying them. Um, buy them early on in the game, but now I don't need them as much as I did. So I'm sort of saving gold. I'm saving gold. I'm saving diamonds by not buying those. Um, I never buy these. And I'd only buy maybe four pieces of gear early on just to help speed things up a little bit. Uh, alternative world, definitely just go for Anpu. He's great. And when I start to awaken Anpu a little bit more, I'm going to start buying these epic runes. Uh, ignore the the copies of elite heroes. You don't need them. Guild, of course, we want to be able to max up our haul. So yeah, buy the these definitely. And then for guild hunt, you just want to be buying these every single day. And I think, do you know what, there's quite a lot for the shop, actually. I don't want to go into it because it's going to make the video too long. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. I hope this helps you with progression. And if you guys do have any questions, just drop a comment below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure to smash that smash, that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.